All four lanterns are mounted on their footing. Next time I will mount a raw unpainted lantern on the footing and then spray paint it since I made a few marks on the lanterns when I was screwing in those screws. But other than that we are ready to go outside, make the wiring connections and then we can fill in the platform, at least the first one. Here is the deal guys, I've tried to test the lanterns with this little power supply right here and whilst testing I've noticed no lantern would light up. Then I've switched my multimeter to measuring amps and I've discovered I have a short somewhere from here to there. Now I am forced to cut each wire between the lanterns to localize the short. Okay. Look at that! All the lights work properly now. I fiddled with that light down here over an hour. It had the short somewhere in it and now it's gone. So all the lights work. They use the proper amount of amperage and yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. So this is done. Now I can proceed setting them correctly in this platform area and then I will be able to backfill. See, that's how I want it to look. Nice and straight. All the lanterns work. Now I can start carefully backfilling the platform area. Oh, wait. First I need to tackle the main supply wires which will go underneath the station building.
Good morning! It is way too wet outside to finish up the platform area, so I've decided I need to reinstall my uh, digital central station. The electrician came finally in and now we've got some lights and more importantly the power supply works. Let me show you. Haha, <laughs> look at that. So that enables me to wire my central station from those outputs down here, through there, through there, and here will be the central station. Twenty four. Twenty four. I hope you have seen me install this central station. This is a terrible place to film. I don't really enjoy it. In this corner you have bad light and no space. But digital central station is installed. I've wired the power supply up here. You can see the supply wiring going down there through here and I've also installed a programming track and in front here this is the uh, wireless receiver which is mounted on the other side of this wall so that is basically the whole installation let's power the system up and see what it does Okay, power to the supply and the central station is booting up. It seems to work. As you can tell down here, this is still not the final wiring. Uh, I've got two wires sticking out right here. Those are for the lights and additional power supply. Um, on the layout and down here I've got the wiring for the booster circuit but I don't own a digital booster right now and I don't need it for the size of my layout at this point so this will stay like that for a little while most importantly the digital central station is operational and 
we are able to uh, ride some trains outside on the layout. So let's shut this back down and do something else. Look at that, blue sky, 25 degrees Celsius plus, perfect conditions to fill in the platform. On the lower section I will use this kind of granite stone. I will just fill it in and make it nice and level. And then there will be a top layer of 2 centimeters where I will use a stone glue. For that reason I have washed this stone uh, so it is nice and clean so that the glue will uh, take care of holding this stuff together and this will be the top of my platform I think it looks great
As I've just explained, this is the base layer. I try to keep a distance from the top of the edge from about 2 cm. This will be filled with the same material but glued in place. So I get a hard surface. But since the glue is very expensive, I don't need to glue the whole thickness of the platform. So let me finish up my base layer in this area and then we will see us again when I mix up the glue. The whole process is supervised by my track inspectors. But they are happy so far. Two point eight three six nine kilograms. This is about 9 kilograms worth of gravel. Okay, let's go, I'm excited. All right, we got a lot done today. The first platform is finished up. I've tested all the lights, they still work, which is fantastic. The station building isn't ready yet. I need to install some lanterns outside and the indoor lighting. Down here it is looking very good as well. The steel edge is nice and even. The fill material hardens up right now and we've got a nice lantern and the station building 
in which I will install indoor lights and maybe a lantern on that side and for sure some light underneath the roof. Okay, that wraps up this project. I hope you have enjoyed it. We will see us in the next one. Bye!